Welcome back to another video with the Chug and Astro. Now in the past I made five reasons why you should buy an Astro van. And today I'm gonna to go over five reasons why you should not buy an Astro van. Well, it's actually about seven reasons. So let's get started. The van likes to leak. Very common issue with these vans. I was leaking from this gutter trim right here. This brake light, I had to remove it and add some gasket around these bolt holes and the wiring from the old window gasket. And to fix the leak that was happening in this gutter here, I used some of this black weather strip adhesive. And I basically plugged up all the holes that were in this gutter. I also used this stuff to plug up these holes as well. And to be honest, it still kind of leaks. <laughs> the van is parked at a slope like this. This gutter can get filled up with water and then it leaks down into the cabin sometimes, which is probably due to this door seal just from being old and wearing out, not creating a proper seal. Now with the barn door configuration on the rear doors, those leak a bit more than these vans. But there are a lot of videos speculating on how to fix it and some people have actually fixed their leaks. So keep an eye on that and do your research. The next issue is cheap plastics. They like to rattle and break. And you know, over time, old American vehicles especially, the plastic becomes so brittle and it just chips. So this makes a little bit of noise whenever it drives. Eh, it's not too bad. But one of the most common failure points would be this grab handle. It is very rare to find a van with a grab handle that is not completely broken and worthless. Technically, these grab handles are worthless no matter what, because if you use it for what you think is intended for, it's just gonna break. And remember y'all, it's for looks only and it's not functional. However, I do have an idea of how to make it functional, which I'll be working on in the near future as well. So keeping with the cheap interior theme, um, issue number three is that this dash over time peels upwards and delaminates. So you end up with a very ugly looking dash like this. And it also likes to crack, which is not very sightly. You could replace the whole dash and find a good example off another Astro van, but that is one, a lot of work, and two, not easy to find. Or you could do what I did, which was basically adhere the laminate back to it's uh, foamy backing and cover it with a new piece of fabric. I chose vinyl, black vinyl, which I think looks really good. And I painted the plastic pieces black as well. It matches very nice. It looks so good for my first time ever doing something like this. Now the next issue, I think issue number four is rust, rust on the van. So I'm extremely lucky. The entire life of this van has been in the Southern States, in Florida and now Texas. It did have cladding all down the van. And cladding is a big no-no because it collects dirt, collects moisture, and starts rusting out these panels. Um, my rust wasn't too terrible, but the bracketing holding the cladding was rusted to hell. And due to the cladding collecting dirt, it did start rusting on this lip and on the other side as well. So it had a rust spot somewhere around right there. But if you're in a northern state and you have cladding, I feel bad for y'all. You better remove it or you're gonna have rust spots all down your van. And it's just gonna get worse and worse. So do it now and get over with. It's not a fun job. The same goes with the Northern State vans. Uh, the frame can rust. My frame looks pretty great, but what you can do is scrape off that rust. That's my, the bed to the van. It can come out easily, which is nice. You can just use Corsil to convert the rust to a workable metal or a rust converter equivalent or better. And I'm sure like many of y'all, you'll have rust all on the roof of the van. That was so much work and Corosil came to the rescue. And because it was rusting and I had the OEM roof rack, it was actually leaking through the roof rack holes as well. The holes rusted out and you could see daylight through them. So the roof rack is very uh, weak. Um, so be careful if you're holding anything on the roof rack. And uh, yeah. I basically painted the roof with cool seal, which should keep the roof, you know, cooler. That's what RVs use, and this is a camper van. So I figured that it was a good thing to use. Another conflict is that the prices of these vans have increased a good bit. My case is different. Um, I bought it for $500. The floor is rusted. The window is broken through. That's now a gold wing window. It was molded, cockroaches. Anyways, I bought it for $500 and put in a lot of money into it. Anyways. Vans with two, over 200,000 miles going for about $3,000. Um, vans with around $100,000 to $150,000 are going for about $5,000. 
um, not terrible, but there's some people who are still trying to keep the prices up and trying to sell it at like $8,000 for a standard van. And there are a lot of people like that. Um, there's even damage to the side of the van, but it is what it is. The best way to combat high prices in vehicles at this day and age, you can blame COVID, you can do all that, but is don't buy the expensive cars because if you keep buying them while they're expensive, people are still gonna list them for a lot of money. <clears throat> and simple. Astro vans all the way up to 2002 came with drum brakes in the back. They are very finicky and a pain to work on. <laughs> I've been through these drum brakes more times than I want to count. Not every drum brakes will cause the same issues as I've had. <clears throat> There's a lot of people that don't have any complaints with drum brakes. I just bought a very neglected van. That's, that's my responsibility, which is fine. If you want the disc brakes, which are much easier to work on, um, Astro vans from 2003 to 2005 come with disc brakes. All right, the final issue. Z issue Z. Every older vehicle, especially one with over 200,000 miles, issues will come up left and right. It's just, you gotta be ready to get your hands dirty. And if you buy a neglected van, an ant was biting me. If you buy a neglected van, just like me, or something that wasn't meticulously maintained, um, then expect to work on your van a lot. I, in particular, worked on a lot of things ahead of time before they went bad. So I spent uh, maybe a month or so um, in and out of this engine bay fixing loads of stuff, like the thermostat, the radiator, the brake master cylinder, the new battery pan that was rusted to hell. I have a full story on this van, so if you want to follow it, I'll have the playlist linked down below. <laughs> it was so bad when I first bought it. But then the pro to working on this van is that it's actually relatively easy to work on this van. If this is going to be your first vehicle and you want to get into cars, and you like the vans, I say do it. But if you're someone who doesn't want to get their hands dirty and you have to take it to a mechanic for whatever reason and it is neglected, um, you're gonna be spending a lot of money and that's with every older car. So spend the extra money on getting a very highly and nicely maintained uh, vehicle, van in, my, in, in this case. The pros, in my opinion, massively outraise the cons I just mentioned. I'm currently converting this Astro van into a very comfortable camper van. Everything's just pulled out right now because I'm currently working on the interior. I really enjoy working on the van, so hopefully I can inspire you to um, get into cars. That's a, that's a cool goal of mine. And to help you all out. And when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I am planning on doing some sort of giveaway. I'll announce it in some future video. So. Don't miss them. Thank you to my patrons, making this all very much possible, making each one of these videos easier to make. This is Chris Bills and I always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you in the next video. The pros massively outraise the cons I just mentioned. So if you wanna check out that video, it'll be linked right here or down below.